for this day. We thank you for this time together. Together, and We thank you, Lord, for empowering Dorothy, God, and I pray that your blessing will be upon their marriage, Lord. And, and God, you would just be with us today as we celebrate this union, and we thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here together in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God and signifying unto us the mystical union which exists between Christ and his church. This holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence in Cana of Galilee, and the Apostle Paul commended as honorable among all men. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. I require and charge both of you, as you stand in the presence of God, to remember that love and loyalty alone will avail the foundation of a happy and enduring home. No other human ties are more tender, no other vows more sacred than those you now assume. If these solemn vows be faithfully kept, and if steadfast, steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of your Heavenly Father, your life will be full of joy and the home you're establishing will abide in peace. However, you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her as long as you both shall live? And Dorothy, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him as long as you go shall live? Cherish and cherish till death do us part. Death do us part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. And therefore I pledge you my faith. And therefore I pledge you my faith. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for okay. richer, for poor, for richer, in, for poor. In, sickness in sickness and in health, to love, to love and, to and to cherish, till death do us part, according to God's holy law, and therefore, and therefore I pledge you my faith. I pledge you my faith. <laughs> <laughs> and you, with asking God's blessing in the ministry, church here, you have expressed your conviction that marriage is more than a legal contract, but rather a bond of union sealed in heaven. Henceforth you shall no longer be two, but you shall be one. Your paths will be united, your responsibilities will increase, but your strength and your joys will be multiplied if you are sincere and earnest in your relationships, one to another, and with God who has witnessed and sealed this covenant. And let's pray. Father God, we just ask you your blessing upon this wedding, God. And Lord, I ask God that you would just touch Dorothy and Howard, God, that you would just bless them with many, many, many years of happiness and joy. And God, that you would just multiply your blessings upon them, God. We speak blessings to them. I ask God that you would just bless their whatever their hand touches, God. And I pray, God, that you would just be with them and strengthen them and help them to draw closer together and to love each other more as the days go past. 
And Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for your blessings, for your love and your grace and your mercy. And it's in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I would have to kiss your bride. Aww. <laughs> <laughs>